Hello, our friends, Evolutionary Energy Arts family. Hello there, welcome back. This was our morning's video. This was a Patreon exclusive. Um, pretty interesting stuff. As uh, yes, absolutely. We're always being programmed. Let's just leave it at that. Indeed. Yeah, deeper dive over on Patreon. Crazy world it is out there. Here you go, U.S. Secret Service acting director. Let's listen to him. There could be another geopolitical event that could put the United States into a kinetic conflict or some other uh, some other issue that may result in additional responsibilities and protectees of the United States Secret Service. Kinetic event. Yeah. Oh, there's probably going to be a bunch of very, very kinetic events. Yeah, it, it depends on how you want to word it. But yeah, the doo doo is flowing. Well, they're, they're certainly getting it all lined up. Yeah, they got all their ducks in a row and uh, things are being triggered left and right. Listen to uh, Freudian slips. Let's see. Uh, this, by the way, is Harris surrogate represent, representative Plaskett. Hmm. Having Trump not only have had the codes, but now having the classified information for Americans and being able to put that out and share it in his resort with anyone and everyone who comes through should be terrifying to all Americans mm -hmm. and he needs to be shot, stopped. <laughs> what? 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 He needs to be shot. Stop. He needs to be shot. I didn't say it. She said it. I mean, personally, um, again, this is all part of the script. We understand it. Yeah, I, I, I've watched Gil Bates talk about things that have really, really manifested, even to a higher percentage, and people were, you know, told, "Oh, that's just a CONS." Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, it, it's all part of the plan. As is all sorts of chaos. La Porte, Texas. As you see, this is a massive fire going on uh, evacuations in the area um, this is a pipeline explosion what exactly caused this was it a kinetic event <laughs> you know again using that term who who started this kinetic event was it just ground shifting from nibiru was it the planet x system was it the you know 12 000 year cycle with the uh, you know reverse <laughs> the polar reversal underway the magnetic polar reversal or was it somebody just trying to cause chaos what do you guys think what do you think this by the way is the area so this is basically um over by houston houston i believe is the f fourth largest city in the country and one of the most important when you look at at the port here and the shipping logistics uh everything that goes on in houston it's a very 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 important economic um and from a security standpoint place logistically so you know what is going on here yeah good idea to clear the area as you know kinetic events can and do happen Oh, right next to an urgent care and um, a discount tire shop or something. Um, this is bad. This is bad because it's going to interrupt a lot of business. Oh, absolutely. Absolutely. I, I thought the urgent care was right next to McDonald's for everybody that eats there. Might as well have one right Might close well, by. Yeah, yeah. You know, again, it's just the world that we live in as people wake up to what's really going on. 60 agencies working to contain medical waste affecting Maryland beaches as FEMA assesses disaster potential. 60 state and federal agencies are working on Monday to try to contain an offshore wash of medical waste, including hundreds of hypodermic needles and feminine hygiene products all over the coastline from Delaware to Virginia. Beaches on the Delmarva Peninsula, including Ocean City and Assateague As Island, restricted water access after hypodermic needles and other medical waste washed ashore. Officials in the affected areas, including Fenwick Island in Delaware, 
Assateague State Park and Assateague Island National Seashore are recommending beachgoers wear shoes. Who knows what else is in there? You know, uh, it's just crazy what we're seeing going on. Is this just another uh, accident? Is it another of the va 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 accidents that are going on on the planet? Here you have a bomber activates an explosive device in Germany. We've been talking about waiting for sleeper cells to get activated and those, you know, ones that crossed certain borders illegally. Obviously, there's a lot of sleeper cells amongst them. So is this the beginning of something a little bit more intense? Well, it does feel like everything is again coming together uh, at this point in time. Larry Ellison pushes AI-fueled surveillance system to monitor citizens. Billionaire Oracle co-founder Larry Ellison claims AI will enable a vast surveillance system ensuring citizens will be on their best behavior. Well, us personally, you know, we're very, very peaceful people. And, you know, again, it's really the system that stresses us out and the fact that we know the system is not peaceful. It's the exact opposite of peaceful. You certainly can't call any of the governments on the planet peaceful, let alone the U.S. government, which, again, the United States has been at war like 97% of the time of its existence. That's not really peaceful. The people need to be protected from the governments. That's really the bottom line. And really, we need to be protected from the people that are paying off the governments and every aspect of it from judicial to politicians to the health care etc because you know really when you get down to it it's people in his category of wealth that are really the problem and it this is all just my humble opinion by the way yeah yeah i mean i i could see where he's you know causing a little bit of a problem but gosh going back to that beach that's really bothering me because the hypodermic needles I mean, I would never go to that beach. It's like, I'm going to remember that beach. If, even if we can travel anywhere, ever, 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 I am not stepping foot on that beach because, those, unfortunately, the needles can just stick in the sand and stay there for God only knows how long. Yeah, I do believe I've seen photographs, maybe I'm wrong, of Larry Ellison at the Wailing Wall. Um, I'm not sure if it was when Trump was there or if when Malay was there. Or, you know, again, any one of the other president, the president of Mexico could have been there. Mm -hmm. um, then again, you know, maybe it was when Klaus was there or Obama. No, maybe it was Biden. No, it was Zelensky. Um, no, it wasn't Zelensky. Hmm. I, I don't know. There's just too many people that make the trip there to keep track of. So anyway, uh, I hope everybody is safe. This is Carolina Beach in North Carolina. Um, beautiful area, and as you can tell, they're uh, experiencing, uh, I, I think this is relatively unexpected, just how how heavy the rains were. This is in um, Mexico, as we see. Everywhere you look, it's just it just seems like the inundation from the, you know, the, the storms, the flooding, uh, these events, which are just breaking records constantly you know one in a hundred one in a thousand year flood events uh, are a daily occurrence in this time uh, this is going back to carolina beach by the way as you can see um locals said they've never seen anything like this before what's really going on again is it the nibiru system planet x system is it in your opinion uh you know a geomagnetic excursion is it, you know, something else? Is it just simply geoengineering and weather warfare? Are they triggering the water that's been locked up inside the crust of the earth to rise up to the surface to create another mud flood? Inquiring minds do want to know, as you see, one day can make all the difference in the world. Wow. Yeah, this, this is literally, you know, what, what we have here. You know, Poland and Czechia and, gosh, Italy and so many other areas. This particular photo is in Poland. Insane flooding that we've seen. Uh, it, it's just mind-boggling, truthfully. 
And I think one of the most telling things is all the weather people that have been doing this for their entire lives, all feeling a little bit perplexed, you know, just a little bit perplexed. Did you look at the rushing water here. Look at that car. It's, it's like a little toy car. It's incredible. <laughs> That is unusual in any time, but this time in our lifetimes. Gosh, it's, it's a mess. You know, I'm still stuck on all those controllers, whatever they're doing at the whaling wall. They're all just sort of in that controlling situation and they're all there. I'm kind of still stuck on that. I, I wonder if they have any information about, you know, the weather, weather that's going on there. Hmm. And here you have stuff just dropping from the sky. You gotta be careful. Good timing. Uh, that car made it, and that bike made it. But man, this is over in China again. Uh, the Chinese are not our enemies. The Russians are not our enemies. You know, again, it, it, it. There's no one group that is truly the enemy of the other, unless we're just simply talking about the control system which really is acting like the enemy of all life on the planet. All humanity. And animals, too, because animals are suffering. Plants and birds and, you know, the birds and the bees and the flowers and the trees. If we could all grow a large crop of different food, we could just simply trade with each other. There would be no billionaires, you know, because they wouldn't be able to hoard energy. There might be more more fat people there might be more lean people you know on the whole if we had to actually work for things physically a little bit it probably would be a good thing It'd be a little healthier maybe yeah a little exercise doesn't hurt it doesn't hurt at all it's good to to get some activity in the body and so much of humanity is really not ready for the times that are upon us right now you know imagine we, we get upset sometimes if, if, if you lose power, you lose signal, um, you're in an area where, you know, the signal is not good for a while. And can you imagine if all of a sudden we had to simply grow our own food to just survive? Oh, it's going to get crazy. I think so. Think about that too. Eating for practically free grow food not lawns no they they talk us into keeping up with the joneses and having a perfect lawn that's perfectly toxic and it's going to help fuel cancer and all sorts of other uh, health issues down the line because of all the you know toxins that are being sprayed but but your lawn's gonna look good and of course the other part is you're not growing any food on it we need to totally change everything bring it completely around so you inherit this cabin in the woods would you keep it or sell it now me yeah i would absolutely keep it it depends on where it is you know if it was somewhere that was you know even brutally cold or you know something like that or next to a nuclear power plant yeah we we might not keep it but at the same time it's nice to have peace. It really is. And it's nice to be outside of all the FIVEG frequencies that really make it hard for people um, to get that peace. I know. I know. I mean, this is really pretty. But, yeah, you have to take those things into consideration. But, boy, oh, boy, you could do some good grounding there. And it looks like some good fishing, too. Well, yeah, that's the thing. You know, you, you got right there some water. So you just have to purify it. Again, hopefully... Uh, there's not like a Monsanto plant up the stream or anything like that. And uh, yeah, you might be able to fish. You you might have to clear a little to, to have a good patch to grow things. But you could always container, grow, and just move things to where there's optimal sunlight. You know, we need to get active, to be physically active, and also to play and enjoy ourselves. It, it's typically uh something that we we lose track of as we get older is just simply having fun in a physical way you guys remember twister does anybody remember twister that could cause a lot of laughs and unfortunately it might cause trips to the, <laughs> the doctor's office you know because again people have gotten so sedentary on the whole 
keep your body active. Get some exercise and have fun when you're doing it. It could be fun. There's things you can do out there that are fun. If you put your mind to it and you really want to have more activity, go online and just look up all the different things you can really do that might be enjoyable, that might fit your lifestyle. Uh, I mean, he certainly looks like he's having a ball. I, I think he's just having a blast there. I mean, it's it's just him and the rope. And, you know, share a little love with those that love you. You know who you could count on for support. They're always going to be there, and they're going to love you if you're having a bad day or a good day. Oh, my gosh, that dog is so, so good. I couldn't imagine Sita just sitting there like that. She just, she's not a very good bus rider. Yeah, and like 110 pounds, 115 pounds, she's as big as you are so you know again guys thank you so much for your support if you feel so inclined join us on patreon there's exclusives that go up there every week usually one or more times and again uh, we want to thank our new patrons including dreaming in puerto rico oh i love puerto rico it's been a long time since i've been there beautiful island source bless and namaste namaste